Going Beyond Business The CSR Story of John Keel's Group Since 2005, John Keel's Group's CSR efforts are spearheaded by the John Keel's Foundation, comprising a range of initiatives linked to six key focus areas. Education, Health, Community and Livelihood Development, Environment, Arts and Culture and Disaster Relief. These initiatives are all aligned to the United Nations Millennium Development Goals as well as the UN Global Compact of which John Keel's Group is a participant since 2002. The English Language Scholarship Program, implemented through the Gateway Language Centres across Sri Lanka, has enhanced the language and communication skills of children and youth of varying age groups, enabling them to gain that extra edge in education, employment and their general personal development. Combining the value of a sound education with good neighbourliness is the Foundation's Neighbourhood Schools Development Programme, which aims to improve the overall educational facilities of children studying at five state schools located in the vicinity of the John Keel's head office complex in Slave Island. The Final Step Soft Skills Development Programme is designed to groom university undergraduates for the world of work by honing skills such as leadership and teamwork, self-confidence and adaptability. The Foundation's Community Development Project uplifts the lives and living standards of people, inspiring and empowering them to develop themselves and their communities in a sustainable way. The Foundation's Village Adoption Project is aimed at eradicating rural poverty through capacity building. The five-year pilot project in Halmilava, a hamlet located in the Anuradhapura district of the North Central Province, has resulted in the village making steady progress in multiple spheres including irrigational infrastructure, agriculture, alternative power generation facilities, education, vocational training and entrepreneurship development. The Foundation has selected Mangalagama in the Ampara district of the Eastern Province as its second village under the Village Adoption Project. Development of irrigational and educational infrastructure as well as livelihood development of the villagers have been identified as the main areas of focus in the village. Meanwhile, the group subsidiary Ceylon Cold Stores has undertaken to develop the productivity and market opportunities of the Mangalagama cashew farmers. With ICT playing a crucial role in economic development, the Foundation collaborated with FARO in setting up Sri Lanka's first rural BPO operation in the agricultural village of Mahavilachya in the North Central Province. This strategic CSR initiative has facilitated John Keels to outsource some of its accounting functions whilst taking city job opportunities to village youth by offering training and employment in this growing industry. Mahavilachya has developed a workable model that could be replicated in other villages of Sri Lanka. In fact, the second such BPO has already been established in Sinigama in the southern province. Another strategic CSR initiative of John Keels aimed at developing and sustaining livelihoods in villages is its sustainable sourcing mechanism. The John Keels Consumer Foods and Retail Group leads in this area with its successful sourcing initiative which includes ginger, vanilla, dairy products, treacle, meats, poultry, fruits and vegetables. This initiative enriches the income levels and living standards of farmers and SMEs with stable prices over pre-agreed times. The leisure sector also fosters entrepreneurship through their community-based sourcing mechanisms. John Keel's quest to develop and enrich communities includes the preservation of the country's heritage sites. Over the last decade, the group has restored the 1870s built Slave Island Railway Station to its original splendor, introduced modern amenities to complement its historic architecture, 
and undertaken the daily maintenance of the station for the benefit of thousands of commuters who use the station. Cataract is the primary cause of preventable blindness in Sri Lanka. The John Key's Vision Project, which is aligned with the World Health Organization's Vision 2020 project, facilitates eye tests, cataract surgeries and related medications to needy persons in various parts of Sri Lanka, whilst also donating reading glasses and prescription lenses for deserving adults and children. HIV can threaten the well-being of any society, with the potential risk it poses to a country's workforce, which is the most vulnerable age group likely to be affected by it. The John Keel's HIV Awareness Campaign focuses on prevention through education and is committed to combat the spread of HIV in Sri Lanka, in keeping with the Millennium Development Goals. This island-wide campaign has a wide scope and has, to date, succeeded in educating a large number of people within and outside the John Keels Group. The John Keels Group is also the first conglomerate in Sri Lanka to adopt and implement an HIV workplace policy throughout the group. The John Keels Group recognizes its responsibility towards proper environmental and biodiversity stewardship the Nature Field Centre at Rumasala in the southern province is a collaboration between the Foundation and the Central Environmental Authority to facilitate experiential learning about the environment and biodiversity among school children. Constructed under the aegis of the Foundation, the centre is ideally located on the legendary Rumasala Hill, which is rich in biodiversity. The Foundation also established a butterfly garden at Cinnamon Lodge Habarana to enable visitors to enjoy the beauty of butterflies in a natural setting while offering these precious creatures of paradise a habitat to thrive in. The growing population of leopards in Yala has resulted in wandering leopards preying on domestic cattle which, in turn, has led to revenge attacks on the leopards by village herders. Under Project Leopard, the Foundation, along with the group's Yala Village Hotel, has begun implementing a simple but effective solution – steel pens to herd the cattle at night, thus protecting both cattle and leopards. Polythene poses a menace to the environment, both in terms of production of greenhouse gases and litter. In a pioneering initiative, the Foundation collaborated with the group's supermarketing chain, Keel Super, to introduce reusable cloth bags, known as red bags, as an alternative to polythene. The arts are not only the soul of a nation, but also a means of livelihood for many. As a platform to promote local talent, the annual Kalapola, or Art Fair, a long-term collaboration between the John Keels Group and the George Kidd Foundation offers a great opportunity for artists and sculptors to showcase their works of art to the public, launch or promote their careers and develop a valuable clientele. Disasters, be they natural or man-made, wreak havoc and tear communities apart. Be it a tsunami, drought, floods or displacement due to conflicts, John Keels has stepped in to provide relief to the affected persons, rebuild their livelihoods and infrastructure. To the employees of John Keels, their group is more than just a workplace. It is where they can learn, grow and reach their full potential. The same applies to John Keels volunteers. They are passionate and committed to make a positive difference in the world. In the firm belief that each employee has a role to play, the Foundation mobilizes the group's staff as volunteers in all its projects. The Foundation's volunteer network offers the employees a platform to reach out beyond their individual call of duty and contribute to the larger causes benefiting the community and the environment thereby supporting the Foundation to realize its vision of touching the lives of people. John Keel's Foundation Touching the Lives of People